My name is Emily. I am an educator at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. And spring has sprung. Even though we are stuck inside for most of the day, it is business as usual for Southern California's butterflies. Now, you may, may remember last year's massive painted lady butterfly migration, and you may have even spotted a few as they start their yearly migration all over again. So, what are painted ladies? And where are they headed? The painted lady is a small butterfly, only about two to three inches across their wingspan, with orange and black and white patterned spots on their wings. Now, a few people confuse the monarch butterfly with the painted lady, but it's really easy to tell the difference if you just look for two main clues. The first is that the monarch is quite a bit larger than the painted lady. And the second is that the monarch is gonna be really orange. It's an orange butterfly with just a few black stripes across its wings versus the painted lady, which is a little bit more modeled in color, a little bit patchy. Now, SoCal is not the only place you'll find these creatures. They're one of the most widely distributed species in the whole world. They can be found on every continent except for South America and Antarctica and survive in almost every kind of habitat. And that's partially because as caterpillars, they're not too picky about what they eat. Most butterflies can only eat a few types of plants during their short caterpillar lives, but painted ladies can eat almost over 300. The most common of those are thistle, mallow, and daisies, all of which can be found native right here in Southern California. And what they eat is an important part of why they migrate each year. As generations emerge from their chrysalis, they only have about two weeks to live. So they have to eat up and mate so they can lay the next generation of eggs. They'll start in the California desert regions. And as spring temperatures start to warm up across the country, the butterflies follow the food. The flowers they're gonna drink nectar from start to bloom. And as they bloom farther and farther north, the subsequent offspring will end up in the Pacific Northwest. Now, you'll remember last year we had a super bloom, a gorgeous display of flowers across the region because of the heavy rainfall. That rain watered the flowers, which in turn enabled those painted ladies to reproduce in much greater numbers than in recent years. With the rain we've already had this season, let's hope for another great painted lady migration. But in order to better understand these butterflies, we need you to get involved. Whether you're watching from your windowsill or on a quick neighborhood walk to stretch your legs, keep an eye out for the painted ladies. It's super easy. Just grab a pencil and paper and a stopwatch. Around lunchtime, pick a really sunny spot to watch and record how many painted ladies flutter by in a 10 minute period and note which direction they're going. That's it. There's a simple Google form for you to fill out on our website to let us know what you see. For more information, visit nhm.org or follow NHMLA on social media. We cannot wait to hear how many painted ladies you spot.